And here we are looking towards Waltham on the ancient Central Massachusetts railroad line here out in the equestrian hold fast of Weston. Home of Grover, Grover Norquist and God only knows what else. I'm at the Concord Street Bridge and I'm heading in the direction of Wayland in my hapless effort to document this potential future rail trail that many are excited about. of ticks. Some wetlands. <coughs> and you kind of see the power lines that ended up being the principal use for this existing right of way. We're in the waning days of March, the earliest peep of spring. <coughs> this is our way out to the kind and gentle town of Wayland, which is eager to start removing rails from this thing. And that's our way out back into Waltham and the big scary city. There. Stream in a wetland and off we go. Have an old concrete culvert. There's all kinds of interesting culvert work along here. This appears to have been filled in at some point before they made such things illegal because the stream culvert doesn't really divert water to anything. Over here is a fairly extensive town forest. And here's a trailhead for it. Another thing that will make this a great trail system is the significant number of <coughs> open space amenities that run along its edge. Weston has a nicely worked out little trailblazing system. There's a constituency for this. Looks like we found a winter deer yard. There's fur everywhere. No, there's deer poop, all right. So yeah, this must be a yarding spot. Nice and cozy for them. Oh, there's an old piece of tossed metal. And we're running through a cut, skirting along one side.
believe these funny flat strip markers are intended to indicate the width of the right of way from one side to the other. It's supposed to be about 80 feet, which looks about right. Here's another side trail into the town forest. a cut which is generally followed by a fill we came from the direction of Waltham and lo and behold we are forging ahead in the general direction of Wayland passing through a wetland redolent of chirping blackbirds and whatnot This part of it used to haul passengers as far as Hudson. Then it only went as far as Sudbury and stopped doing that by 1970 or so. Another cool old culvert construction. Maintaining a degree of commendable porosity. <laughs> <laughs> 